<clears throat> Welcome to Grief and Loss Counseling, Psych 598. This is a one unit course, so there's not a lot of material. However, that does not mean that it's any less important. The material and the content is really important. This is only a one unit class, like I said, therefore we are only meeting online. This is a fully online class. My name is Dr. Erica Soda. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I have a doctorate in clinical psychology as well as a pupil personnel services credential in school counseling. I work a lot with kids and teens right now and no matter what population you work with, no matter what age group you work with, you're going to come across someone who has experienced loss. We've all experienced loss, uh, whether it's symbolic loss or physical loss. Uh, so this information is really, really important uh, because in your professional life, in your professional world as a therapist, you're going to have to know um, what's helpful when someone's grieving. Also, we want to know how do we deal with grief? Are we okay with grief? Um, what did loss look like for us and have we worked through our loss? Because our experiences with loss will certainly have an impact on the way we work with our clients. So I am available uh, virtually this semester. My office hours are Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. or by appointment. So if 6 to 7 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays don't work for you, we can absolutely schedule a different meeting time. The office hours meeting link is listed there. We have one small course textbook. It's not very big, but there's a lot of thorough information in there. So this is a very independent class, so you will need to make sure that you're keeping up on the reading as well as watching all of the videos in full. You could go over the student outcomes, um, assignment overview. So because this class is only one unit, you will not have a weekly discussion board. You will just have to do three over the course of the eight weeks and it's the pretty standard structure. You will answer the questions as well as respond to two of your classmates, um, at least two of them. That way we have some discussion in here. One of the bigger assignments is the grief and loss brochure and this is due towards the end of the quarter, I'm sorry, semester. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an educational brochure focused on providing information and support for a specific group of individuals who are grieving and or suffering. So you could choose your brochure to be geared towards child and adolescence, uh, young or middle adulthood or older adulthood. You will also want to make it geared towards the secular audience uh, because we want it to apply to a diverse population. So what I really want you to include in this is education around the grieving process and stages of grief. Your book goes into a lot of detail about this and a lot of times just the education in of itself is very, very helpful for clients. A lot of times they'll feel like they're going quote unquote crazy when they're suffering. Um, so that in of itself is very, very therapeutic. You also want to speak to the unique challenges that a person of that age range might face during a time of grief. So there might be differences between what a child goes through versus what an older adult goes through. They're in different phases of development and different phases of life. So that could look differently. And also practical therapeutic steps and that sufferers can take and or research resources they can access in order to face their grief. So basically what's gonna help them? Do they need intensive counseling? Do they need support groups? What coping skills could they use? Just to name a few. So you will need to have at least five academic re references. You may use the book as one of them and you'll have to have a reference list as well as in-text citations, so citing your work throughout. And then you need to read the textbook. So you're gonna get points just based on how much you read. 
So at the end of week eight, you're going to submit an approximate percentage of textbook reading completed. So we're going on the honor system here. Um, did you complete the whole thing or did you complete 80% of it? Um, so you'll get points based on that. And then for your capstone, it's going to be a 25 multiple choice question um, test. And you will need to pass this in order to pass the class. In fact, the, this class is a pass or fail. So you need at least an 80% to achieve a pass grade. The point breakdown is right here. You are free to email me with any questions or concerns about the assignments, but they're pretty straightforward. The course schedule is broken up very nicely for you. You will read chapter one and two the first week and watch a video. Uh, your first discussion board is due week two, second due week three, along with the video. Um, week four is just a video and reading. Week five, your second discussion, I'm sorry, your third discussion board due. And your grief and loss educational brochure is not due till week seven. And then, of course, the capstone will be completed the final week, as well as your percentage of textbook reading. So, as always, we expect you to be professional and respect your colleagues. Um, even though we are engaging in a virtual form of education, we still need to write grammatically correct. Um, so no text message lingo in the discussion boards. And with online classes, it's so important that you keep up on your email as well as Blackboard. I'll post assignment assignments, um, announcements. That way you have just kind of a nudge to like, hey, this is going to be due at the end of the week. And sometimes that's helpful because I know life gets busy and you guys all have lives. So make sure you're checking in regularly. My late policy, uh, you can turn in late work two days past the due date, uh, but each of those two days, a 10% grade deduction will occur. So if, say you turned in excellent work and you received 100%, the first day it's late, it'll drop down to 90, the second it'll drop down to 80, and then uh, unfortunately if it's the third day or later, you will receive a zero. But if it's a crisis, an emergency, I get it, life happens, things come up, let me know and I will work with you. I'm very flexible and understanding in that regard. So as long as you're communicating with me and you tell me what's going on, then we can make something work. Netiquette, just basically be respectful. Um, hear your other colleagues out and this is a safe place for us to express ourselves. This is sometimes a very sensitive topic because Grief is not easy. We've all lost. We've all um, have gone through it, and maybe some of us are currently going through it. So stuff could come up, and that's okay. I want you guys to feel free to reach out to me or discuss it in the discussion boards. Academic honesty. I'm not too worried about this. You guys know not to cheat and that there will be consequences if you are caught doing so. If you have a disability, please feel free to email this address, the coordinator of disability services, uh, to make sure you're getting the appropriate accommodations. And these are some additional resources that you might be interested in. I know that you're super busy, but if you have time later on in the summer and you're interested in this topic, these are really, really good, highly recommended reads. So that is basically it for the course. Thank you so much for being here. I'm looking forward to reading your work and don't be a stranger.